Hi everyone, Florals here. And today, as the video title will imply, I'm going to be showing what I believe to be the first Silent Tasmanian Tiger 2 out of fans glitch. Now, I, I could be wrong on that statement, because I did search up Tyler Tasmanian Tiger 2 out of bounds on YouTube, but I have no proof that this has not been found yet. But this is going to be the first one on YouTube, I guess? So basically, it's pretty simple, and you can do it very early into the game. Pretty much as soon as you unlock Burimaji. And by that I mean beat Kurawal. So what you want to do is go over to the graveyard. Not the um, house, just the graveyard. And once you get over here, there's like two ways to do it. You can either jump off of this tombstone up here, or you can just jump off of this fence. And when you go over here, you want to jump over to this tree branch, and then jump up here. So while I haven't done this for like a month, I completely forgot to upload it. Actually, it was longer than a month. But yeah, here you are. So when you're over here, you're like completely out of bounds. Like you can jump down there and do a bunch of stuff. So I'll show a few things you can do. One of the things you can do is walk along here until you get over here. Where if you jump up here and jump down, you can hopefully not fall. But you can access this area over here. And walk over here. And if you go this way, you can you can see freaking the tunnel that brings you to Bush Rescue HQ. And if you jump down here and push yourself towards the side, you can walk along a very slim piece of collision. And you can jump down there and access that room without cheats, which I'm not sure it's been done before. I mean, I have done it before, but... So you can jump down there. I guess I'll share that, because it's quite an interesting sight. Oh yeah, right, this is the thing. So you want to, like, curve around. If possible. There is a way to do it, I just forgot how. You can also look over here at the um, test chamber for turning the like, frills into uber frills. Whatever, I'm too stupid. Yeah, but if you go far enough out, you can eventually get to a point where you can go down and go inside here. Not that there's anything in there. Oh yeah, if you were to do that, but you were to curve around at the start, and not do what I just said, you could get in. And then there's Cassopolis. It's another Cassopolis. <laughs> um, I'll get back to you with what you can do in a second. So another thing you can do is go over here, and jump down here, and similar to, similar to before, you can walk along, like, a slim piece of collision. Now, as far as these go, there's, like, nothing. But it's very interesting that you can do this. If, if you look over here, I'm gonna try to hit this jump. Yeah, so, there isn't anything useful you can do, per se. But, yeah, certainly it's fun to uh, mess around over here. One last thing you can do, I guess, is if I go back over here. The f am I? Oh, yeah, I know where I am. And so, one last thing you can do is jump down to the sewers. And walk around out of bounds. So the best hope we would have for walking out of bounds on the little slim piece of collision next to the Southern Rivers entry tunnel is jumping up here like this and doing some weird crap at this bridge. Now I don't know what you would do, but that's the best hope I can assume 
unless some weird crap can be done over here. Which I have yet to find. Yeah. So, go try it out, wreck yourself, and have fun with exploring out of bounds. And while there really isn't anything useful, as I said, and just for proof, um, this is about what you can do when you get over here. Not much. I mean, maybe if you could find some way to stand. I, I don't know. I don't know what you could possibly do. But as far as I'm aware, there's nothing you can do yet. 